Hello. Morning, 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 morning. Um, there we go. I'm just adjusting the camera. I am Connie from Faf Designs. Um, I am live in the Silk Group today. Um, and I'm going to be showing you something really, really quick and easy that you can do with Silk and Best Dang Wax. So um, I'm the owner of Faf Designs, like I say, and I'm also a brand ambassador for Dixie Bowl Paint. I'm based in the UK. Um, and excuse the hair today, it's wet and windy, typical British weather, vile outside, and I've taken the dog's walk, and I came out worse for wear, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, today um, I'm going to show you how to wax over silk. It's really easy, that's the secret, it's easy, easy peasy. Um, I've got the camera on horizontal, but I am going to adjust you in a sec so that you can actually see this cabinet. Um, so, obviously, Silk has a built-in top coat. Um, it's a question that gets asked quite a lot. Obviously, it's a new brand of paint. People are still getting to grips with it. Can you wax over Silk? Um, yeah, you can. And it's really, really easy. Uh, because it has that built-in top coat, you don't need to seal it first. So, that's already a step that has been removed um so say hi if you're watching let me know where you are watching from today um so that step's already been removed you don't need to add an additional top coat with silk if you are using wax you can if you want but you don't have to so with chalk mineral paint if you don't add a top coat before you wax what happens is because the paint's still porous the colour of the wax, whether you're using grey or black or brown, that soaks into the paint. Um, you don't get that with silk because it has the built-in top coat. So that's a step that you don't have to do. So apart from that, it's just like normal waxing. So you can erase it with either a rag or a baby wipe. Um, and that's about it to be honest so this has been painted for a few days um it's an ongoing project also i shall show you a little sneak peek of the inside because da, 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 it's got one of the new dixie bell transfers on um so i can see a few people watching say hi don't leave me on my own here come on guys say hello um so this is floral romance i think is the name and um it's brand new i literally got my delivery back end of last week of my transfers um all the other brand ambassadors obviously in america got theirs a little bit sooner hi hello thanks for saying hi liz you're the only one come on people um so uh these are the brand new transfers from dixie bell um I love them. They're amazing. It applies over silk, chalk mineral paint, raw wood, what you name it, it goes over pretty much anything. Uh, glass, plastic, whatever. So the inside has got this little floral number on and also the draw sides, just for a little bit of added interest. So the outside is Hampton Olive. Um, love this color absolutely gorgeous the draw inners were in um not great condition even after a good clean they were a bit rough so they've been playing painted in black sands um and the gold edging that you can see around here if you can pick it up the lighting is terrible here today the weather's horrible miserable this is been this has been painted in the um in the gemstone mousse from Dixie Belle also, which is that. Um, I added a little bit of clear coat in just to increase fluidity. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna distress this, I think, because the cabinet is really, really rustic, quite old, so we're going with it. So these transfers distress beautifully. Like I tried a little bit, I had a scrap bit left over and I tried it, 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 it looks it looks really nice. So that's my job this afternoon, but before I do that, I thought I would show you wax over silk because it is a question that keeps getting popped up in the group. So can you see, let me just move the camera up there. Can you see these um, details on here? So this is original carvings of the, of the wood um, and a colour that 
actually my my pal my painty pal uh linda leatham so her business is called annie loveday furniture um she recently did a piece in hampton olive and used uh gray wax and i don't, I don't use gray wax a lot but it looked really nice so got a brand new tub of best Dang wax in gray well it's called grunge gray so that's that and you can get all the products that i'm using from the link above my head or you can find your local retailer and buy them from there um, I'm going to be using the Dixie Belle La Petite brush today. These are brand new. They're not actually released yet, but they will be soon. So this is really, really good um, for applying wax. It's got a pointed, um, a pointed end. So it's good for getting in all the little corners and crevices and carvings in this case. It's got some detail up here. It's got this detail here. And it's also got some on the sides as well. So this brush will be available soon. Um, I don't know exactly when, but it will be available soon. Um, so it's a palm brush. Um, like I say, it's 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 awesome for waxing. Really, really good. So um, we are going with the rusticness of this piece. It's rustic, it's old, it's been battered, but we're going with it. So I'm just gonna load my brush up with a bit of gray wax. And all you do is work it into the detail. anybody have a favorite color of silk yet anybody got a favorite color of silk can you see what i'm doing do you need to bring it closer is that better that better um my favorite color i think is conch or conch however you say it hello sharon hi thank you for uh saying hello so all you do is work the wax into all the detail making sure you're getting all the crevices and then you can either take some um like paper towel uh you like hampton olive do you judy yeah that's my second favorite um so yeah mine's mine's conch or conch and then hampton olive um okay linda thank you thanks for jumping on you have the hampton olive do you Cool. Yeah, I'll be here on replay. If you do watch on replay, make sure you put hashtag replay in the comments so that uh, I know you've seen me. And the lighting is terrible, isn't it, here? I do apologise for the poor lighting today. So that's grey wax over the top. Um, so you can either get a baby wipe, which will obviously completely remove it, or you can use a bit of paper towel, a rag. Um, and the wax is water-based, so best and wax is water-based you can remove it with things like this um whereas a lot of waxes are oil-based this is not so it's super um you can play around with it basically so i'm going to remove all the wax around there with a baby wipe and then i'm going to use some dry paper towel and you're still watching <laughs> just can't tear yourself away and I'm just going to take off the excess over the detail. Obviously, the more you wipe, the more comes off. So you can, it depends on how intense you want the colour. So if I was using black wax, for instance, instead of grey, that's not subtle. So I'd be taking off a lot more. Um, so I'm just taking all the wax off the high points and leaving it in all the light recesses and the, and the lower points. Um, and it just helps add a little bit of dimension to your project. So if you're looking for something to make details pop or if you've got any, like this piece has got carved details on it or if you're adding wood you bend pieces on something and you want to make them stand out, this is a really good and really easy way of doing that so that's it and like i say i have got really really poor lighting in here today but if i just push you back so this is the side that had the gray wax on and it's quite subtle it's not in your face and i write i like that about this piece it's um it's going to be it's quite subtle and then you've got the 
the uh, little bit of a pop on the inside. Um, sorry, you got here late. Did you seal the silk before you added wax? Um, hi, Tony. Hello. Um, no, I didn't. So, um, like I said, with silk, you can basically step. You can. You can. You can clear that step, so you can you can miss that step out. Um, silk has a built-in top coat, um, so unlike the chalk mineral paint, which um, you do need to seal before you add a wax, unless you want that sort of um, you want that effect. But if you want to basically leave the wax in some kind of carvings or whatever, um, you have to either seal it with like a clear coat or a wax beforehand to allow you to erase the wax it acts as obviously like a barrier and it stops the colored wax from being absorbed into the paint silk has a top coat built in so you you can miss that step out completely you don't need to top coat so this these doors were painted um a couple of days ago you, you're okay to wait overnight um but as long as the paint is properly dry so Anywhere over the four hour point is fine before you add wax, but ideally overnight because silk dries from the top down. So what that means is you might be able to touch it and it's fine and it feels fine. But when you um, start working things in it with brushes and stuff, you might find that it's not completely dry. So um, definitely wait at least overnight if you can. Um, and then you can just apply the wax. But so it's got that, um, it's got that built-in top coat that stops the paint, the, the wax, sorry, being absorbed into the paint and allows you to then remove the excess and just leave it sitting in the areas that you want. Um, hi, Jolene, Connie, do you need to wax the rest of the door? Is there a difference between the part where you wiped off the wax and the rest of the door where there is no wax? Yeah, I see what you mean. There's like a sheen here, isn't there? I see what you mean. I can see it on camera. I can't actually see it. In real life, oh, I can want to turn it towards the light. So um, you could do, or what's probably best to do is just baby wipe it off. Um, so you could, if you wanted that sheen, you could um, you could add clear wax to the rest of it, or because I'm quite heavy handed, I went in, I went in heavy handed with the wax, and obviously I went sort of like this, and it it went around this area. So where I'd you know then buffed it off you could see a higher sheen level here than what the rest of it is because um silk is is a is a low sheen sort of um or like an eggshell type finish um so i just need to rub it off with baby wipe or stop being so heavy-handed with wax be more precise i think that's what i need to do i hope that answered your questions <clears throat> I tend to waffle a hell of a lot. So um, if there are any questions that aren't answered, feel free to either leave them in the comments or um, drop me a message on my page, which is Faf Designs. It should be linked above my head. Also, while you're here, there is a giveaway for silk on my page. So if you pop over to Faf Designs, um, did I even pin the page to the top? I'm going to pin it. When I get off, I'll pin it to the top. There is a giveaway. It's the same one on Instagram. It's the same one on Facebook. If you enter on both platforms, you get entered twice. Um, and it's for a pot of silk. And you choose the colour that you'd like. And we will send it out to you. So uh, make sure you pop over to my page and enter yourself in the competition. Oh, good. I'm glad it answered your question. I do tend to, I tend to ramble a lot. <clears throat> and then I get off topic and I think, did I even answer the original question? So I'm glad I did. So, yeah, I think I just need to stop being so heavy handed with the wax. So that's hopefully taken off that residue that was leaving that like a, a higher sheen here. Or if you did want to increase the sheen on this, if you prefer it with a slight sheen, you can clear wax silk, absolutely fine. You can add a wax over the top for decorative purposes. Um, it's tough as boots is silk. Uh, I don't know if any of you saw the post that I did earlier in the week of the um, outside gate. Um, it's wintered um, per perfectly. 
there's not a scratch on it and i have bashed it on purpose because i wanted to test it it had one coat of serenity on my garden gate we've had a harsh winter we've had snow we've had frost but it's weathered really really well i do need to do the other side of the gate because it's not fun enough um so but it, it honestly it's really really tough you do the proper prep on this paint and it it's really really tough so um the prep that I did on this particular piece is I cleaned with white lightning. Um, I picked Hampton Olive because I knew it was going to bleed. And I didn't want to be doing like 10 coats of white or anything like that. Not that you need 10 coats of white, but um, you know what I mean. So um, oak is traditionally really, really bad for bleed through. Um, this has had only two coats and here around these areas on the first coat i could see tannins starting to come through um so uh i've covered this before but basically silk has got a built-in stain blocking primer it is equivalent to one coat of boss so if i'd have used boss on this piece it probably would have required at least two coats of boss to stop the bleed through so what you need to do with this paint is leave it to do its thing don't try and sort of you know go over it too quickly because it's just going to keep pulling the tannins through so leave it to dry overnight if you can if you start to see tannins coming through that will basically do its job and start to start to you know harden off and cure and it'll lock those tannins in if you recoat it too quickly it, it'll just keep pulling the tannins through um so but like i say it started to on the first on the first coat i could see tannins coming through so i completely left it overnight and this has only had a second coat applied and there's no tannins coming through so um i picked hampton olive i wanted to um go really really rustic and sort of old with it and i also wanted to have a little bit of a contrast on the inside with the pink flowers pink and green you know i can't resist a bit of green um so um yeah, so the prep that was done with this was cleaned with white lightning and then I gave it a scuff sand um, with my... I do use an electric sander because I have... I can't get dust in my eyes. I've got a weird eye condition. So I, don't, I use an electric sander which has got a vacuum attached to it. But you can scuff sand with... Um, with a with like a rad pad or whatever from Dixie Bell or one of the Dixie Bell sanding sponges are good for scuff sanding. A light scuff sand and just went straight ahead and painted and that's all you need to do. So you do need to scuff sand. It's not a step that I'd advise you skip with silk because it does make a massive difference to the outcome of your project. Um, it is um, it's a little bit more uh, refined um, and it does need, like I say, that extra scuff sanding step as opposed to the chalk manure paint. But as long as you follow that rule, then um, this is tough as, like I say, proper, proper tough as old boots. Um, so that's that. And I hope you can see the difference. It is really subtle on here. Um, and the light is absolutely awful. I'm stuck on the floor down here in the cold. So I'm hoping you can see the difference between this and this. And it just um, adds a little bit of interest. Let me just see if I can get the light better. Can you see how it's just highlighted? The carving slightly more it's 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 not as two-dimensional as this this is lovely but this just makes the detail pop a little bit more like i say depending on your choice of cut of, of wax color you could make this as defined or not as you want i'm going for quite a subtle look today because i may distress um possibly a little bit further i'm not sure yet um, so I am just going for a really, really subtle look, but you could use black wax, you could use brown, you could even use white, and that'd go sort of like a, a white washy beachy effect. So it's just a super subtle way of making the detail pop. So I hope that helped this morning, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Um, can you see, I'm literally like stuck between two pieces of furniture. There's a massive sideboard behind me. There's something there. So yeah, I'm stuck here. So, yeah, I hope that helped. Oh, thank you, Tony. I'm glad that helped. It is super subtle, but sometimes that's all you need. Um, like I say, with this piece, I didn't want to go 
too crazy because there's a lot going on inside and out so um that's it that's it for today that's all i've got you you're welcome sharon thank you for popping on and um make sure you pop over to my page enter the competition it's open to anybody so it's uk um usa australia you you name it um you are eligible to enter my competition so um pop over to my facebook page i'd love it if you'd follow me while i was there as well that'd be ace and i will pop off and uh, i'll see you again in a few weeks bye, -bye.